Hello YouTube. I'm pretty sure most of you are familiar with GNS3 and its functionality. It virtualizes routers and firewalls from different brands. It even helps you to connect your hosts into the rest of your topology. It has tons of features. It provides you with documentation, a helpful community, and it's free. But today's video is not about how great GNS3 is. We all know that. Today's video is about EVNG, which uses Dynamips and other technologies to power up the router and firewalls. EVNG is just a Linux box. It's a VM. It's a virtual machine. You can virtualize it using VMware Workstation, ESXi, VirtualBox. Any sort of virtualization technology should work. And how to grab the image? You can go to the website and download it from there. It has a lot of nice features, to be honest. Uh, it supports HTML5, which I'm going to show you in a moment. Um, one of the features that I like about EVE is that it runs as a server. It has a web interface, meaning that you don't have to worry about your laptop, you know, high CPU utilization, you're running on a battery and stuff, or you want to save your topology because you're rushing into a meeting and you can't save stuff. You can see the list of features right here. When it comes to supporting different vendors, different products, you can find Cisco, Juniper, F5, Barricade, uh, Linux, Apple, whatever you can find in the market, you can basically virtualize here. And of course, EVNG doesn't come with these images. You need to grab them from the vendor. So let's go to the download section. You can see you can either download ISO or OVA. Whatever you want to choose, you can download it from here. All right, let's have a look at the interface of EVNG and uh, see what it has got. So once you provide the IP address, I have one installed in my lab. Uh, once you enter the IP address, it gives you the login page and you need to provide your user credentials. Uh, of course, this is located locally within my lab. You can see the IP address right here. And you can see right here that I was working on a lab that I've been working on it for quite some time. Um, what I have to do is just click on the router, on the object, and I can console into it just like that, just like GNS3. Um, you can see that the router has config on it, show IP interface brief, and you can see right here it's a config. It's connected to a Cisco SA firewall, and firewall is running on chemo. So let's have a look at the config of the Cisco SA. Yeah, that's basically uh, the devices on the top. Let's have a look at the XR. I can even virtualize XR. So there is no really a limitation on the number of devices as well that you can virtualize. As long as you have CPU and memory, you can do basically whatever you want. And these are the list of devices that you can add into your topology. The ones that are highlighted in blue are the ones that I've configured. I have an image for them. But the grayed out items are the ones that I don't have an image for them. I haven't configured anything. When it comes to the resources that you're using, you can always check the status of the server. You can go to the uh, left hand side and check on the status. For instance, I'm using 28% of the CPU that I've allocated to this server, and memory utilization is basically not that much. This video is just a short introduction on EVNG. Hope this video has been useful. In the next video, I'm going to show you how to install EVNG on ESXi. Thank you very much for watching. Hope this video has been useful. If it was, as always, please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing.